So good afternoon, everybody. My name is Yusra Dresh. I'm a PhD student in smart communication research teams from Morocco. And today I would really like to give you an idea about Horizon digit recognition system based on CNN and SVN. So this is one of the basic and important use cases in deep learning and an image recognition tasks. So working on this, we will give you an idea of how to handle an image recognition projects. So let's get started. So first of all, we have a general context. Uh, uh, we will give uh, you an overview of the processing of imagery by deep learning. And in the next, we have uh, we will uh, give you uh, an idea of improved learning techniques with the in presentation of the proposed architecture with the results and discussion. And finally, uh, we uh, will end this presentation by a conclusion. So artificial intelligence is the act of making machines reproduce tasks that are considered complex by humans, typically making a machine reason, teaching a machine to plan tasks, or teaching a machine to represent knowledge in a structured way. So the deep learning is a subfield of machine learning. It currently groups together the most efficient and effective methods applied in machine learning community. So the, in general, making a decision is an easy task for a human. He is able to do any action in different occasion condition, but for a particular cases, it makes that the task very difficult. The goal of a classification algorithm is automatically associate the label with an object. This is a field of computer vision, where the object is an image and the label can be, for example, a word that describes the content in the image. So, The, the step consists in conversing a paper document into a digital image with a minimum of degradation. However, despite all this, some noise may, may appear and cause a loss of quality due to the word area and is lighting. For the pre-processing, the purpose of pre-processing is to reduce the noise to premise on the data and to normalize the image size while keeping the significant information of the presented shape. And for the feature extraction is in a hand horizon digital recognition system, the feature extraction phase consists of obtaining the most relevant volume of information that will be provided to the classifier later on. And finally, for the classification, allows to transform the attributed characterizing the shape into class member chip. So the, here, here are uh, some previous work. Donc, uh, in um, 2015, in this paper, the others present a combined static and dynamic feature extraction technique to recognize and rising digit. Uh, they obtain the accuracy uh, 90%. So if you notice from the table that the others obtain the good results with SVM and CNN, but when they combine the two methods, they obtain acceptable results, but lower accuracy rate compared to that obtained with just CNN and SVM. So this call for asking the question.
Uh -huh. we can, how can we introduce machine learning method into a CNN architecture to automatically classify such an image with better per performance? So to answer this question, we will add the SVM classifier to the last layer of the CNN neural network. And in the next, we will regularize the parameters of the CNN model to optimize the results obtained. So in this part, we will give you an uh, overview of the proposed architecture. The goal of our work is to develop a recognition system based on CNN and SVM classifier. We developed a trained model by adding the SVM classifier to the last layer of the CNN neural network. And then we added a set of images to the real input set. For this work, we use the MIST dataset is a large collection of uh, underwritten digits. It has a training set of 60,000 examples and a test set of 10,000 example, examples. And we start by importing our libraries and data sets. The first library we import is TensorFlow. It's uh, an open source library developed by Google and released in 2015, uh, which is very popular in machine learning. In TensorFlow, we import Keras which is a programming interface and can decrease the development time of neural network prototype by 30%. Now, by for the mathematics equations and matplotype for creating static, animated, and interactive realization in Python. So, for the SVM classifier is a machine learning algorithm that maximizes the margin between classes of the problem to be solved by hyper, hyper plane and reduce the classification error. So the, uh, the calculation of this hyperplane is based on maximizing the margin between the closest learning examples that belong to different classes. So uh, our, the model of uh, convolutional neural network CNN is composed of uh, two convolution layers, two max pooling layers and a fully connected layer. Finally, an output layer. The input image, for example, is of size 28, uh, 28, it passes to the first convolution layer, which is composed of 32 kernels of size 33. After this convolution, 32 features maps of size 28, 28 will be created. Then we apply max pooling to reduce the size of uh, the image and the amount of parameters and calculation. So this figure shows the proposed architecture principle. Our model is composed of two layers, two max pooling layers and fully connected. So the input image is of size 2828. 28. It passes through the first convolution layer, which is, is composed of torsi, uh, two kernels, uh, after this convolution, to see two future maps of size 28, 28 will be created. Then we apply max pooling to reduce the size of the image and the amount of parameters and calculation. As the output of these layers, we will have to see two future maps of size uh, 13, 30. We repeat the same thing with the second layer of convolution. This layer is composed of 64 kernels. The activation function 
is applied always on niche convolution. A max pulley layer is applied after the second convolution layer. As the output of this layer, we will have 64 feature maps of size jersey jersey. In order not to fall into the problem of, of uh, overlearning, we, we, we must use the dropout instruction, which is very effective for neural networks. It allows us to deactivate a number of neurons according to our configuration, which we also be used as the output of the fully connected layers. The, fact, the feature vector resulting from the convolution has a dimension of 160,000. Finally, as the output layer, we added the SVM classifier by replacing the soft mix activation function by the linear activation function, which always computing the probability distribution of 10 classes. In uh, this uh, part, we adopt uh, an image augmentation technique that uh, consists of increasing the size of training data sets by creating a new modified version of the image from the available training image by ensuring a variation of images that makes the model able to generalize what is has what has learned to new image and that strongly improves the performance of this model. So after uh, this iteration, the results in terms of accuracy and error are illustrated in the following. Summarizing the results obtained in the table, we noticed an error rate of 30%, uh, 3%, which means that there are uh, some image out of 10,000 misclassified with an accuracy rate of 99%, which largely exceeds that of the basic model. And from the figure, the learning and testing accuracy increases with the number of approaches. This reflects that at each approach, the model learns more information. On the other hand, we found that the learning and validation error decreases with increasing number of approaches. So, in the end, we developed an implementation for handwriting digital recognition using a classification approach based on convolution neural network combined with the SVM. So established relationships between error and accuracy. And for this, we obtained very good results with an accuracy of 99% with an error that is almost zero. The comparison, uh, comparison between the results found showed that in increase of the data to use the, uh, the function value, the addition of a max pooling layer after the first convolution layer and so on are important players in obtaining better results. So thank you for your attention.